Welcome ladies and gentlemen and thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Josh and today we're going to talk about why I love to sell pre-owned clothes on eBay. Let's get into it. So it used to be that you didn't want to tell people or let people know that you were wearing used clothes. It sort of was a faux pas. People thought you were poor and couldn't afford brand new clothes. And so you didn't want to tell your friends you're wearing used clothes. But now that has all changed. In fact, used clothes is the biggest it's ever been perhaps in history. The market is booming. Companies like The Real Real, Poshmark, Macari, Depop, um, and eBay all are getting into the used clothing business. And the business is benefiting from a young generation who looks at fast fashion as destructive and wasteful and not sustainable. So if you're interested in saving the planet, maybe you buy some used clothes. Instead of buying brand new clothes, which would have to put more manufacturing and all the chemicals and all this stuff involved in manufacturing. Now this transformation of people's understanding and perception of used clothes has grown and grown. Even companies like JC Penney's before they were like completely dead, considered reselling pre-owned clothes in their store alongside new clothes. And you've probably purchased or at least seen a Plato's Closet or an Uptown Cheapskate where it's sort of an upscale thrift store idea where you can sell your used clothing to them and they will sell it again to another customer. And this gets young people into the pre-owned market. And so do Netflix shows like Slobby's World that uh, show the exciting and adventurous uh, hunt for vintage t-shirts or jerseys, etc. And this gives people interested because it's not only fashion, it's a collector's item. Uh, that's why you see such a demand for vintage items, vintage clothing items, uh, that rival brand new items. Uh, I'll tell you what, I have not seen a uh, Marvel t-shirt that goes for, you know, $600 brand new. I've seen used vintage ones go for that, but not uh, brand new. So the thrill of the hunt is really motivating some of these prices. So I think vintage is going to continue to be strong for a while because it really is sort of like modern fashion archaeology. Now for the reasons that I love selling used clothes on eBay. Well, first of all, just about everybody on the planet is your target market because everybody wears clothes except for some of you weirdos. And so because of that, you have such a large addressable market that you can find a lot more customers. The more customers you have, the better chance that you're going to find a customer willing to pay the price for the item that you're selling. So in that regard, I do like clothing a lot. Now, because there is such a large volume of potential customers, there really is a large volume of potential inventory. To prove my point, go to a thrift store on the first day of the month and then go the first day of the next month and tell me how many items that you saw while you were there are still there a month later. It's not going to be very many. In fact, it's something like 90 plus percent of all those items have been either sold or moved out, sold onto rag houses that will tear them down and recycle the cotton. And one month time, all those shelves are completely packed again. So there seems to be almost no limit to the opportunity for purchasing inventory. Now that doesn't mean that every item of clothing has a significant value. In fact, most of them don't. But because there is so many, there are a lot more opportunities than maybe in a different category like uh, electronics. You might be able to do some stuff in electronics, but if you can't get your hands on a lot of electronics, it's going to be harder to sell. And because there's such a large inventory of clothing available at any given time, it's much like an ocean uh, to a fisherman who has a favorite fishing spot and you have the information that nobody else has. And so when you find the fishing spot, you find the fish. And in this case, fish is a item worth selling online. Uh, is my analogy working? Forget the fish. If you know the value of a certain brand, a certain type of uh, article of clothing, like a jacket or a pair of jeans, or the history of, of an item, you suddenly have information that the majority of people may not have. And because you have that information, you know that maybe the thrift store is undervaluing that t-shirt or undervaluing that pair of jeans. And that gives you an opportunity or gives me an opportunity to make money. And because there's such a massive volume of clothing available on the market, 
most people don't do the work to understand the value of a particular piece of clothing. That's why I can go into a thrift store and there's a rack of jeans and they're all four bucks. Well, there are jeans worth more than four dollars. In fact, there are jeans worth thousands of dollars. So why are these people selling all their jeans for four dollars? Well, for them, they don't have the time, the energy, or maybe the manpower, or even the will to do the research on every piece of clothing because 90% of it's not going to have a lot of value. So they just do the basic stuff and they can say, hey, I got this for free. So making $4 of it is a lot of money and profit. But that gives someone like me who has the knowledge of the value of a particular piece, the opportunity to find that piece, buy it for $4 and resell it for more. Now, another reason I love selling used clothes is there are very few other categories that I can have my items tore up, beat up, uh, stained, <laughs> Uh, messy all kinds of stuff and they sell for more at, than if they were brand new case in point is this pair of jeans right here all damaged tore up holes all over it worn out will sell for far more than this dead stock pair of jeans and that's nice because most people aren't looking for the ratty pair of jeans but I know that there is a lot of demand for ratty worn looking pairs of jeans because that's just the aesthetic that I can sell for far more than the brand new, even with brand new with tags. So that gives me a lot of opportunity and it's one reason I really love selling used clothes. Now along those lines, clothing has a lot less moving parts than let's say electronics. And I hate selling electronics because one button doesn't work or if it, you know, the tape player moves a little bit slow, I'm gonna get a return and I'm gonna spend extra money getting that item back to me. It's mostly been not worth it for me. There have been times where it has been, but if I don't know how to test it, fix it, whatever it may be, and make sure that it works for certain, it's just not gonna work. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna end up losing money. Why would I wanna do that? There's literally no reason why you would want to do something to lose money. Okay, and electronics guys, I know you're gonna be like, hey, I make lots of money selling electronics. Cool. But if I don't have that information that you have and that knowledge and that ability, I'm going to lose money. So I'm going to avoid it. I'm going to stick to the simple clothing where I can do the research. I can look at the comps and the condition can be sort of whatever and it still be acceptable to the customer. Another reason that I love used clothing is shipping a pair of jeans is a lot less risky than shipping an expensive electronic. If that electronic item falls out of the uh, you know, mail carrier's bag and it hits the ground, the box might be fine, but the shock may have caused some component to come loose. But if the pair of jeans falls, nothing really is gonna happen in the condition of that jean. It'll be all right. So a lot less issues there. This is also true when it comes to storage. If I was selling a bunch of toys, Storing a bunch of those toys may be a lot more complicated than clothing. I can sort of press clothing, I can fold clothing, and I can save a lot of space and pack in a lot of clothes into a small area. That may not be true for new inbox items. That may not be true for used toys. That may not be true for art or electronics, whatever. And I appreciate that about clothing. Now, yes, I have said lots of lovely, wonderful, positive things about selling used clothes and made it sound like selling used clothes is the easiest, most profitable thing you could possibly do with your life. But it's not all cakes and roses, pe peaches and pies, I don't remember. It's not always easy, it's not always perfect. There are plenty of reasons to hate selling used clothes and that's what I'm gonna tell you about on the next video. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe it inspired you. If it did, leave a comment below. Leave a like if you could. And uh, subscribe if you are new. Hit the bell so you can be notified. All of those wonderful things. And we will see you guys on the next one. Peace.